We're Will and Jen, and this is our dog, Tucker. In our last video, we left Florida and started our journey across the United States to California. This is a big trip in the making, Jenny. We were so excited to start our full-time RV trip, but got thrown a big curveball as soon as we got going. Somebody busted out our window. In this video, we're exploring the town of Waco, Texas, famous for the hit show Fixer Upper. I actually watched when they like renovated this whole building oh, on Fixer I didn't Upper. See that. But we're touring Waco in the best way through food. Follow along as we try some delicious food like grilled cheese, cupcakes, and tacos, and explore everything that this cute Texas town has to offer. All daddy has to do is give you a treat. <laughs> Tucker, you gonna stay here while mommy and daddy go out? What? Wait, wow. You've been doing Sit. that way too much. Say, mommy, no. <laughs> so we had a lazy morning. Yeah. But we're here at a cool campground. You like it here? It's like. One of those where I think it w it could be really nice if the weather was good. It's just very like cold and dreary. Right? Like imagine if the water was right here on this lake yeah. where I feel like it's supposed to be. Right? Like is I feel like that's what I was telling Matt. I think the water usually comes up I, all the I, way it's there. It's got to. But, and then like a nice warm summer day. You know, you just park the boat here. Yeah. That'd be fun. So we're right on Lake Waco. Yeah. And this is a tiny little campground. It is. But for now, we're going to Matt's favorite restaurant in Texas, which is Saltgrass. Yeah. It's like a steakhouse. He was like, we weren't planning to go there, but he like begged us to, to try right. it while we were here. Right. Because he's been there a few times. There's, there's a couple locations in Texas, and he's been to one near like Dallas, and he said we had yep. to go. We so. have to go. So it was like we'll the best go. steak ever. So I'm actually really hungry now, so I'm ready. There you go. This is the original Texas Steakhouse. God bless America. God bless America. This is the most Texas. American looking restaurant I've ever seen. Right. But I'm so excited. I am hungry. I know. Because we didn't eat dinner last night, did we? No, we didn't eat breakfast. We've been and starving ourselves for this moment. Actually, I was starving myself to do traditional Waco food. Instead, we're going to a chain restaurant. Chain restaurant. <laughs> Okay, we made it in. We got our little booth. And we're like looking at the menu and I'm so hungry because everything sounds really good. And Will actually triggered me for a second because he's like, maybe I get the chicken. I was like, the Just hell Just like you? the grilled chicken The breast. grilled chicken. I'm like, the hell you want? I don't care what you want, you get the steak. <laughs> I'm gonna do the um, six ounce filet. So it looks like they're bringing out some bread here. It's kind of like, it's not like as brown a bread as Outback. I'm not gonna fill up on this because I think everything else will be better. So. Okay. This place is definitely Texas. The theme in here, they got saddles above you, all the decoration, even yeah. the people. Just Texas. There's a lot of horned animals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Texas. Don't mess with Texas. Don't mess with Texas. Okay, the apps are out well. And they look amazing. So we got queso with brisket in it. Look how big these chips are, too. Right, they're huge. Good for scooping. Scoop deep Scoop deep potato. Scoop deep potato. Scoop, skip potatoes. That's the Nashville hot chicken. It looks like a like some sort of honey mustard. Honey mustard ranch. Uh, dress. Oh yeah, salad. Will got a side of ranch. Mm, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm gonna be full after this. Right. Okay, I'm gonna start with the queso. Mm. That is really, really good. Delightful. You gotta try some. Try to spread this out. <laughs> It's a very thick case. It is, yeah. But yeah, it's good with the brisket in it. It's like a warm hug. Like a warm hug, right? Chicken time. I'm gonna try the honey mustard. Okay. Hmm. It's hot, yeah. I agree, it's not real spicy. But you can tell there's like a lot of seasoning in the Correct. breading. Yeah. Like it has a lot of flavor. And the chicken's like very juicy. Like it's a real nice Oh, it's a real, piece chicken. Of real chicken. Yeah. And, oh, it's a real chicken. <laughs> You can like see the spices in the bread. Yeah. It has so much spices. I can like taste it as I'm going to take a bite. Like before oh, yeah. I even like. Because you kind of inhale a little bit. Probably. Yeah. Like the spices are like, ooh. We doggy. We doggy. 
Okay, our meal just came out. And it looks so good. It's got like melted butter on top. And then I got a side of smoked mac and cheese. Will got, you really pretty much got the same thing as me, but you got bacon wrapped filet with shrimp, yep. right? And mashed potatoes. And a side potatoes. of mashed potatoes. All right, moment of truth. We're gonna see if Matt was right, right about this strength. being like the best steak. Good. Is it good? Not amazing. Though. It's not. <laughs> Mac this and cheese looks be better. That does look better. Mm, it's good steak. Yeah. Boy. Is it the best steak I've ever had? No. no. Sorry, it's Matt, the best you. steak you've ever had. Pogo? Oh, my favorite steak I've ever had. He's at our friend Elijah's house. Oh, yeah. And he invited us over to his house one time and he Wagyu. did Wagyu steak, uh -huh. which if you don't know, like Wagyu is like the best kind of steak, but also it was like the way he cooked it too, because I've had Wagyu at restaurants and it was not nearly as good as his. Right. So this doesn't compare to Elijah's steak, but it's still really good. Oh, should I try the mac and cheese too? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Good. That's good. With smoked mac and cheese? I was wondering what that even meant. Right. It's almost like they use like a smoked cheese, like it has a smoky uh, yeah. flavor to it. So nice. That's very good. So I got the bacon wrap filet with shrimp, and then for my two sides I got mac and cheese as well, and mashed potatoes. It's pretty good. No, I actually think it's really good. Pretty tender. You were saying how you don't like the bacon wrap, but see this is just enough to give it just a little bit of a bacon flavor yeah. taste. But not like overwhelming either. It also might contain some of those steak juices too. Mm -hmm. Before we continue, I want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. RV manufacturers know that most people have preferences with their mattress, so they stock them with cheap, thin ones, knowing that you're going to want to switch it out. And if you're full-timing like us, you're definitely going to want to upgrade to a better mattress and get a good night's sleep. As soon as we picked up our new fifth wheel, we went straight to RVmattress.com to pick out our perfect fit. They make ultra-luxurious mattresses perfect for RVers, and they have a variety of styles and sizes. We went with a signature hybrid mattress in the highest firmness level, and they call this the best mattress ever because it has five layers to provide you with an incredible night's sleep. And if five layers aren't enough, you can also order it with the Glaciotex cooling cover to moderate temperature and provide ultimate cooling on contact. Will is like a human heater when he sleeps, so I love having this cooling cover on our mattress. RV Mattress by Brooklyn Betty offers a free 120 night comfort trial, so if you don't like your mattress, you can get a refund or swap it out for something different, which is great because you kind of don't know if you're going to like a mattress until you sleep on it for a bit. They also offer a 10 year warranty on every mattress, free shipping, and they have factory right in Arizona. Your mattress ships to your door and it comes shrink wrapped, which makes it way easier to get into the RV and it's really satisfying to watch it inflate. So if you've been wanting to upgrade your RV mattress and get a better night's sleep on your camping trips, click the link in the description down below or scan the QR code right here and use promo code WillandGen for 25% off. That's right, they've increased their offer to 25% off to make it even more affordable to upgrade your RV mattress. Thanks so much to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Betty for sponsoring this episode. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, so we were lucky enough to snag a table at Magnolia Table this morning for breakfast. Which, if you're not familiar, Waco is probably best known for the show Fixer Upper on ACTV. Got really big. So Chip and Joanna Gaines from that show have like really grown the town of Waco. And there's a lot of cool Magnolia themed stuff to do here. So one of the hardest things to get is a table at Magnolia Table, which is their restaurant. And what's so cool about this restaurant is I actually watched when they like renovated this whole oh, building really? on Fixer Upper. I didn't Upper. see that. That's so I like cool. remember all like the design touches inside. So I'm super excited. The menu looks amazing. It does. So they do like breakfast, brunch, lunch, food, and everything. So we're getting breakfast, and I'm so excited. Since it's springtime, I started off with a lavender vanilla latte, which was really cute. It came with some latte art on top, and it was such a delicious and unique kind of coffee flavor. Will got a strawberry lemonade, which also looked really pretty. 
And then we got a couple shareables for the table, starting with these lemon lavender donut holes. Obviously, I was in a lavender mood today, but these were so yummy. They had a glaze on them and were topped with lemon zest and fresh ground lavender. We also tried their Butterflight, which came with biscuits and four different butters to try, including spring herb, lemon, mixed berry, and honey. My favorite was probably the spring herb, and Will really liked the honey butter. For our main meal, I went with Joe's Crunchy French Toast, which is coated in house-made caramel cornflake crunch and topped with strawberries. This was really good, but very, very sweet. Will got the farm breakfast, which came with eggs, breakfast potatoes, biscuits, and thick-cut peppered bacon. Okay, so it was kind of hard to record in there because it was the tables were so tight, but that was really fun. I'm glad that we did that. We have a little bit of time to kill now because we're actually getting our window fixed. So if you missed the last vlog when we were in New Orleans, we got our truck broken into and they smashed the window out. But uh, we have an appointment at Safe Flight in like an hour to get that window fix, which will be nice because we've been driving around with the... We literally drove like <coughs> nine hours all nine the way hours. from... New Orleans to uh, Waco. Waco with, with it like that plastic. because if we stayed in New Orleans, I don't even know if I told you this, they couldn't fix it for even longer. Oh, really? Yeah, so, so it just we didn't just make sense. Yeah. I, I don't know how the jingle goes. Safe light replace, safe light repair. Wow. Did you just purposely mess that up? Yeah. Just to trigger you. It really does trigger yeah, me. I know. I don't know how it goes. It's something like safe light replace, safe light repair. <laughs> we were debating to stay in here because it was what, 60 to 90 minute yeah. wait, but the days are only like full day to wake up. We're just going to get an Uber over to Magnolia Markets. That's exciting. That is like the thing in Waco that I'm most excited for because there's all the shops and bakery. I just wish the weather was better because it's like complete overcast today. I know. Hopefully. Within the next couple hours, it'll be all fixed up. So there you go. We won't have a plastic window anymore. <laughs> okay, we have made it over to Magnolia Market at the Silos. So I'm super excited. We're gonna go walk in. There's tons of shops and bakeries and stuff. And what's cool is I remember years ago on Fixer Upper when they bought this land and it was just the silos. And I forget if it was like more Chip or Joanna that initially had the idea of like buying this piece of property with the silos and making it what it is today. But this is kind of like the heart of the Magnolia scene in Waco with all the stuff. So we're gonna go head in and check it out. And I'm so excited. Will's a little worried about me buying too much today. Yeah, we don't need to go to the home area. We don't have a home <laughs> We live anymore. in an RV. We live in an RV. I we, know, but I just We should have measured for a rug, because then I would have let you get a rug. I can eye it. Oh, can you? Yeah. I just need a couple cute little decorations for the okay. RV. All right. cool little history tidbit is the building where they have the whole Magnolia store and everything it used to be a cottonseed grain barn basically so Texas in the early 1900s was a major cottonseed oil that was one of its like big exports and so they would actually bring cottonseed outside of the silos area right here and they did all like the processing of it in this barn here where they had storage of it in this barn and then they would ship out the oil and any any excess cottonseed was used as like cattle feed so that's kind of cool because it was a, a big contributor to Waco's economy and um, I like how Chip and Joanna tried to take something historic and make it into a cool area for people to come and enjoy in present day. You know what they've done really well is just make this like a hangout spot. Just a cool hangout, yeah. Like you don't have to be doing anything. You can just come sit on the I turf, know. play some cornhole, grab a bite to eat, shop. It's just chill. I, I love know. that. Want one of those? 
<laughs> huh? You want one of those? Yeah, that's pretty cool looking. <laughs> yeah. This is where basic bitches come to thrive. Yeah. If, a, if you like a flower, you pick it. If you love a flower, you let it grow. <laughs> <laughs> Snatch that. Snatch it. All right, so off of like the turf area, they have all these food trucks. Tons of food trucks. They got burgers. I think I saw pizza. Wasn't there tacos? Yeah, and they have all this like nice seating out here. So you can sit and have a bite to eat. <laughs> like when they set it down, I was like, Dum. Right. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, this is like my happy place. Right. They have a whole sweet tea, truck. like, truck. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I saw someone walk with these, I was like, where I they need get that. that? I need that. <laughs> What's cool is, that, so they have food trucks here, but this probably is permanent. They made this out of a shipping container. Right. That's cool, actually. Mm -hmm. Fun fact that you might not know about me, I love sweet tea. Mm-hmm. I used if to she's buy. ever in a bad mood, it's like, all right, <laughs> just get I just keep tea. my mouth shut until we get to Chick-fil-A. Right. Get the sweet tea. Oh, Chick-fil-A has the best sweet tea. So people always say McDonald's has the best sweet tea, and it is good, but it's like too sweet. Right. Chick-fil-A is so perfect because it's just sweet enough without feeling like you're getting a cavity while you're right. drinking it. And this actually is very similar to the Chick-fil-A sweet tea. Good. Then you get your own mason jar. I could put <laughs> rice in this. <laughs> get back to mm, rice. <laughs> Grilled cheese I time? couldn't think of a better day. I mean, right. buying decorations for the RV, getting sweet tea, we're about to get grilled cheese. Yep. And checking out the silos. Then we're gonna go to the bakery really after right. the cakes. And this is pretty here too. Like you just wanna walk around and just <laughs> right. like a squirrel. Like I don't here. even need to do anything. I'm just like oh. I'm just a squirrel here, like Right. Squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> decorations. <laughs> sweet tea. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. Bakery. Silos. <laughs> <laughs> so there's another food truck here that has like Asian food, American style. But I love their sign. It says the Waco's second fave food truck. And first day here. It's not the best you get. <laughs> you get what you get. You need a profit. <laughs> Okay. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. Got grilled cheese with, of course, tomato soup. I feel like I can't eat grilled cheese without tomatoes. No, that's like it's a, a sin. disgrace. There you go. Look at that. Look at that stretch. Oh man. There you go. Thank you. So we got the one that has bacon and gouda and basil on it. We're gonna do the dip. Cheers it. I got way more to eat on more. This is like perfect for today too. Mm -hmm. It's cold and rainy. Look at all this cheese. Have you guys ever thought about like how much cheese you're willing to eat once it's melted? No, I'm not gonna eat ten sticks of cheese. <laughs> right. Unless it's battered and fried and dipped in <laughs> marinara sauce. <laughs> well and I've been losing a lot of weight. We're gonna get like today. five pounds Yeah, I'm good. so happy about that. Yeah, I didn't want to do another long drive day with <laughs> right. that. So right. we're getting an Uber back to Safe Flight. Yep. And then we're going to go uh, check At on least Tuck Tuck. Walk Tucker. And yeah. We might bring him back, right? Yeah, I want to try to bring you him back. You want to? Okay. Hello. Okay. Hello, how are Thank you doing? You. Hello. Okay, guys, window is all fixed. And we were worried that they weren't going to be able to match the um, tinting because the back windows are pretty tinted, but looking at it it looks pretty good like it was before so i probably won't be able to tell until you're, you're like sitting in the back seat and looking out both windows but 
we can always add more tent aftermarket if we want to. So we are about to head back to the RV now. Okay, I think I mentioned that how long it is to get back to the actual campground. So we are like turning in to the entrance right now. It's 2.09. Okay. Okay. It's a, it's a nice drive. It is. But like if you're trying to like get anywhere fast, it's like 10 minutes of the drive is this right. almost. It says five minutes. It was six minutes a second oh. ago. time 218 so it took nine minutes from the entrance of this campground to get to the RV wow like we wouldn't have been late to breakfast this morning if it wasn't for that <laughs> we really wouldn't have been look at my carnations we are back over at Magnolia Market now and I'm about to get my third coffee for the day <laughs> I'm gonna be all jacked up all today but um, everything here closes at like 6 o'clock, so we only have like a half an hour. So we're going to go and grab coffee at Magnolia Press here. And um, there's one more store I want to go into. Okay. Okay, so I decided to try their house latte called the 1905, and instead it had some toasted marshmallow and pecan, I think, which pecan oh, cool. is like popular in that Texas. variety in Texas. Oh yeah. So um, actually, I wanted to buy. They had bags of coffee that they Ooh. brew here, and one of the flavors was pecan, but I used an espresso pods. I thought it was pecan. Pecan in uh, this will in the side yeah. is pecan. I know. Okay. Just teasing. Okay, let's try. It's okay. It's okay. You're not a big coffee person anyways, are you? Coffee? Like, you like coffee, but you don't like... I'm not a big coffee person. Like, you just like your... kind of your norm, don't you? I like trying different things. Oh, okay. My biggest thing, I think, is when it's not sweet enough. But I added two uh, things of sugar to this. Jeez. Right. I'm just used to, like, very sweet coffee, I think. No, wait till we go back to Europe again. It'll be in trouble. Oh, yeah, it's not sweet there. Yeah. yeah I had to use ask for it extra extra sweet right like american style right <laughs> guys will just pointed me pointed this out to me look it's showing chef's hand prints the like, end that is so cute okay so we dropped a little tuck tuck off back at the rv because we are over here at a place called union hall for dinner and this is a really cool concept because it's kind of like an upscale food court they have a bunch of different little eateries and stuff. And we've been to a place like this in Charlotte, North Carolina with Matt one time and we loved it. So I was like, why don't we go here for dinner? Because instead of having to choose one kind of food to eat, we can actually get a couple of different like small plates and try different things. Okay, so we learned from this, the last place we went to that was like this, there's like a strategy. So you want to like map it out first, right? Oh yeah, I think you're right. Like you don't want to go in and just get like blinded by something good right, right. near the door because then you're gonna regret it when you find something better down, you know, further down. Right. So first you gotta walk around and get your bearings. <laughs> Look at the map. Right, tiny pies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I do like tiny pies. <laughs> okay, we got way too much food. <laughs> so should I go in order? Yes. Okay, we got a shrimp po' boy, which is like fried shrimp sub type thing. We got egg rolls. Yep. Even though they don't really look like egg rolls. Barilla tacos, which you can't wait for that. Pork mac and cheese. Tenders tossed in a mild Cajun sauce, is that right? Medium. Medium Cajun sauce. And then a slice of pepperoni pizza. Which is that's a very creative looking slice of it pepperoni. It is. We should play a game. What? I choose, you choose what I get to try first. Okay. And then I choose what you get to try first. Except somebody already cheated. I did cheat and I tried the shrimp po' boy. Mm -hmm. I was very hungry. Oh, well, was getting the food. Okay, okay, so what should I try first? Try the... Make the right choice. Why? The same. Okay, you try the tenders first. Up first. 
It's a beautiful chicken tender. It is. Dipped in ranch. Very hot. I need a drink. Spicy? <laughs> How spicy is it? Is it? Dang. Hey, milk. It tastes like a Cajun buffalo sauce to me. Okay. Very good. Cool. All right, your turn. Okay. What do I want you to try first? Actually, try the po' boy. Okay. Because I tried that first. I thought it was pretty good. This is the half-eaten po' boy. <laughs> so it's like a sub roll, fried shrimp, mayonnaise, lettuce. We did not do tomato or pickle. Oh, see, I like them. Yeah, the fried shrimp gives it a little crunch, right? Right. Always been like weirded out just by the name po' boy. Like, what's a po' boy? It's just like a sub. But it, it's I like know, fried but, chicken or fried shrimp right. on a sub. The shrimp's not as crispy, probably because it's been. That was one of the first things done. Yeah. So it's a little soggy now. Yeah. But it's good. Right out of the fryer, probably looks good. Yeah. Okay, so spring roll. Well, we really care about the spring rolls. Honestly, I just wanted to have like an Asian dish to try. So. Right. So there's this like it looks like a ginger Sweet sauce. sauce. Good. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is crunchy. Yeah, good. The sauce is really good. Good. Okay, well, we have a lot of choices still on the table. Okay. For you, I'm gonna say <laughs> the mac and cheese. Okay. So, oh. Okay, so this mac and cheese place, so you can either make a, like, I guess a barrel cheese, mac and cheese kind of sandwich, or do a bowl. So I decided to do a bowl. So I ended up going with like a barbecue mac and cheese yeah. kind of theme. So I did. Mac and cheese, or like macaroni, cheddar cheese, brisket, barbecue sauce. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. That's Ready? Good to you? Sounds great. I thought it sounded good. This actually looks delicious too. You know what we're having for lunch mm -hmm. tomorrow, right? This is good. This is the spot. Yeah. That's like comfort food right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know which one's the right one. Uh, How do you talk it? Yes, yeah, that okay, is the right okay. choice. So How did I know? How did you know? <laughs> so we always got it. Oh, and there's onions in this too. Cilantro. Cilantro. That's one of, like one of your favorite foods. So your face says it all, honestly. Thank you for picking this for me to try. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there's only one option left. Your pepperoni pizza. pizza. Look that at that. is it's such like, a cool slice. It is. It's a combination of the big pepperonis, which I like, and the little pepperonis which that I also grow up, like. which I also love. <laughs> um, he also likes medium-sized pepperonis. Mmm. The pepperoni on top of the pepperoni it definitely like hits the best. A lot of dimension. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so we tried everything. So now we're going to actually go ahead and eat until we're full. <laughs> Sounds good. Here we go. Here we go.